Uh, so today what we're going to do is, I'm going to do a couple um, super exciting demonstrations. Just kidding, they're super lame. Um, but what you guys are going to do is you're going to try to take these, these demonstrations and like create a solid understanding of how these things go together. feature of this cart? It has wheels. <laughs> I suppose that's what makes it a cart, but like of this cart in particular. It's for air. So it has very, it has very low friction. Now obviously not no friction, right? I mean that's not, that's not a real thing, but if I start this thing going, it can easily go from one side of the track to the other without, without slowing down. It's really not slowing down significantly, right? If we contrast that with this block, for example. Yeah? I was just wondering, have you ever tested how far the car will go without like, stopping it? Um, I think part of it depends on how hard you push it. Oh, well, yeah. Right? Um, and I don't think the floors are particularly like level, and, and they're not supposed to be because there's like a drain over there. So maybe it goes downhill or uphill. But no, the answer to your question is I've never tested. Okay. Do um, But when you push this block, what do you notice about the block after I let it go? Okay. And so we, we can see the difference. We can see the difference between these two things. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to look at this cart at three different instances in time. Right now, it's just chilling. While I'm pushing it, and then after I let it go. Okay. So I want you to watch and analyze the motion at these three instances. Right now, while I'm pushing it, and then after I let it go. Chill again? Okay. Now, I'm gonna show you, don't draw this yet. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what to draw. Just hang on for a second. When we look at this demonstration, Okay. We have these three instances in time where the car is just at rest. I'm pushing it. What, who's laughing? Who's laughing at my sweet drawings? Was it Brendan? No, it wasn't yeah, at your drawings. Like that. I like your drawings. You're a good artist. I'm not. You actually do draw very nice. Okay. Um, and then later on. Okay. And then, so on each of those dots, you are going to draw a forest diagram. Is that cool? Almost. Almost. Um, I want you to tell me about the motion. What did you notice about the motion in terms of both acceleration and velocity? at each of these three moments in time. Like, tell me about the acceleration of velocity right now. Zero. Zero. The velocity is definitely zero. What about the acceleration? Zero. Definitely zero, because it's not going anywhere. It's not speeding up and it's not slowing down. So I think at this moment, acceleration and velocity are both zero. And so if I draw a motion map for this, basically I just have a dot. Right? What happens while I'm pushing it? Okay. While I'm pushing it, does it move to the right? Or it's my, it's your left. Oh, is this all backwards? This is, I'm drawing this for me, sorry. It's fine. That's so funny. Like, I'm like, I know this is perfect, because I turn around and it's the right direction, but it's clearly the wrong direction for you guys, sorry. It's um, fine. Is that a hand? We can, we can, we can still, yeah. We can, yes. <laughs> that is an anatomically drawn hand. It's what did you think it was? A shark? That was a shark. That was a really big thing. You're having a problem? It's not 
I'm for it. It actually is. <laughs> can I help you? No. Oh, okay. You really can't. Touch us. All right. I'm good. No. Thank you. That's exactly right. Um, oh, he's missing three. What do we know about the velocity? Zero. Oh no. What, while I'm pushing it, that was true though. While I'm pushing it, what's happening to the velocity? Okay. While I'm pushing it? Oh no. Increase So if I were to draw a quick little motion map with this thing, what would I see true about the dots? Uh, it gets wider. Alright, does that give you an indication that it's speeding up? Yes. Now, tell me about after I let it go. Is it pretty constant? Okay. So I'm going to draw it over here. It's not an extension of this one. It's a, it's a new situation over here. Where when you look at it, those are like perfect. Okay. Wait, what do you? It's not a four-sided. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. We have. We know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. They should be. I mean, within my ability to draw them, they are equally spaced, which implies something about the speed. All right. How do you guys feel about that? Good. Is that good? So in a moment, you can sketch this down. Okay. In a moment, you're going to go, I'm going to give you some lab groups, and you're going to go to the back of the room, and you're going to draw this and then the forest diagram for each of these. Okay. All right, so get a sketch down in your book now so you know what to do when you get there. Because that's part one. There's going to be a part two. <laughs> yes, so three four seconds. <laughs> Lizzie, if I stand like this, is that better or worse? <laughs> she says it doesn't really. Okay, so a force diagram. Oh yeah. No, no, we're not doing it. Some people criticize you. Sorry, I'm showing a shirt. And it's uh, there's some vowels missing for the first one. You want to know what this like means? Yes, sure. It's a museum. It's like a. Uh, like a modern art museum, like you have like a modern art museum, like it's like a pop-up in Chicago. It's so cool. That is so cool. What is that? It's called the Wonder Museum. I mean, yeah. That well, that was the problem. Is I looked at it and I was like, yeah, okay. It's called so like they kind of go. There's no models. Oh, it's so cool. I normally can glance, I, I, I glance like get a sense of what it is and then I move on. So this is like, I've been there twice and I've learned it. How long has it been there? It's been there for like three years. Oh, but there's this whole room and it's like all of glass. It's really famous. So that was part one. Okay. Um, on a separate whiteboard, you're going to do part two. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, wait, what part? Uh, part two is exactly the same, only different. Okay. Where, what we're going to do is we're going to analyze the block right now. What do you notice about the block? It is still. Good. It's at rest. So what do you notice about its velocity? Zero. 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 And its acceleration? Zero. Also zero. zero. Then I'm going to push it. Yeah. Ready? I'm going to push it. And then I'm going to let it go. Okay. All right. So it's the three instances in time are before I push it. No, we're drawing two. What are what? What are those dots under? You, that's where you draw the force diagram. Yeah. She won't buy it. Being pushed and pushed. 
These, this is the process of being pushed, and then these are apples. Like when it's before push, being pushed, and pushed. <laughs> All right, so help me, help me analyze the motion real fast. <laughs> Nothing's going on here. So the force diagram, or the, um, we're talking about the block. Okay. So now we're doing the block. What's happening while I'm pushing it? Sliding. Yeah. Talk specifically about the acceleration of velocities. What's happening? Well, while you're pushing it, you're saying? While I'm pushing. While you're pushing it, you're saying. It's hard to see. No, it's accelerating. It starts from a stop and it goes to a speed increase. Yeah, it starts with a speed increase. So the velocity is going to be a so it seems to me that while I'm pushing it, it's getting faster. But then I let it go, and what happens to it? Then it starts, immediately it starts slowing down, yeah? Yes, correct. The last, yeah, because if you watch it, all right. Um, question was, do the last set of dots show it slowing down? Let's watch and let's see if that's what's happening. While I'm pushing it, it's going to be speeding up. But then after I let it go, what happens? Slows down. So I want to know. What does the force diagram look like when it's just chilling, while I'm pushing it, and then while it's moving on its own? Yeah. Is that cool? Oh, yeah. So you're going to do this on one whiteboard, do this on another whiteboard, so that we can kind of compare them. Okay? I'm going to give you some lab groups, and then we're going to go, you're going to draw your diagrams, then we're going to come back, and we're going to rearrange. So we're sitting with our groups, and we're going to analyze your drawings. Okay. <coughs> I would like you to draw and label the force diagrams. Please use this convention. <laughs> um, if you're going to draw the force from the earth, make it green. I'm not cold. <laughs> Any force from the surface, make it blue. Uh, um, Any force from the hand can be black. Oh, that's what this is. Force from the hand. Right? I made my hand like little. Is that cool? You guys have a sense of what to do? Yeah. Uh, let me get you some lab groups and we'll go. Which one? Do we stay with our lab groups? I don't even remember.